Hi, John here again. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Uh, just to carry on with the last part two video of the 447, uh, where I did the inspection on the crankshaft. If you remember, or you maybe you haven't seen that video yet, maybe you should have a look. The readings on the uh, runout, uh, although acceptable at 2000 um, on the PTO end, I wasn't happy with that. I could make it better than that. So I've gone ahead and uh, moved ahead to do the truing procedure on the crankshaft. So uh, let me show you the dimensions that I got. Um, and then you can, uh, you can see how well it turned out. I've just completed my truing session with this crankshaft. And um, as you can see, it's back on. All the indicators are touching. And I'm going to rotate it with the connecting rod. And I guess this one here you can actually see move. These guys here, you really don't see the move at all. So I'm extremely happy with that. If you remember, the original numbers were a thou and a half on the mag end and one thou here and a thou and a half on this one and two thou, of course, on the PTO end. And I mentioned I was not really happy with that. It's high limit and I know I can make it better. Now I've recorded these dimensions now. So this is what I have now. I've, uh, I've ended up at one thou on the mag end. This position here is 0005, so that's a half a thou. And the same on this position right here, that is a half a thou, five tenths, half a thou. And on the PTO end, on this one, the needle barely moves. I'm going to call it a quarter of a thou. So that's a quarter of one thousandths run out on it. So I, I can't get it closer than that. So I'm pretty happy with that. So just as a comparison, here's the numbers from the before, of course, and the finished numbers. So I'm really happy with that. And uh, just so you can see on the PTO, let me move over a bit and focus in on it. And, and then you can probably see the dial move because it looks like it doesn't even work, but uh, you can see it's just barely moving. So see, it is, it is touching. Okay, so that's the kind of results that I was looking for. I want this engine to go back together and I want it to be as perfect as I can make it. Thanks for tuning in today. Appreciate the time. Pretty short video today, but I wanted to let you know that I actually did true this crankshaft and show you the results um, of my effort there. So thanks so much for watching and spending some time with me today. See you again. Bye now.